My personal why is to experience love and possibility. Um, and so uh, I've been asked, you know, how did I ever come to that personal why? And it didn't, it didn't just, it didn't show up the first time. So basically, um, you know, but I asked myself, you know, why do I exist? Why am I here? You know, what is it that I really want to experience in life? And um, it, it's grown over the years. And so it was like to be an example of love and possibility. Or at one point it was to be a billionaire. Or at one point it was like, you know, to feed the hungry. Or at one point, you know, but it's evolved over those years. But it all evolved through that process of asking the five whys. So, <clears throat> you know, I wanted to be a billionaire. And, uh, you know, so then I started asking, but why? And, and so what, what actually happened was I got to a point in my life where I had attained, you know, quote unquote, financial success. And at the moment that I attained that financial success, I just felt the air go out. It was just, it was worse than having to strive to get it. There was a while where after I had attained some financial success or it was inevitable that there was going to be some financial success there where it felt great. In hindsight, and with a little bit of experience and a lot more gray hair now, the reality was I was just feeding my ego. <clears throat> and my ego could be satisfied at that point by knowing that I was going to achieve this, or by knowing that I was special, or feeling that I was special, or different, right? Uh, terminal uniqueness is, uh, is, a, is, a, is, a, is something that uh, I would call it as well, or heard it called, and I think it's very apropos. <clears throat> but, but at the moment that that success happened, the air went out and I faked it for quite a while until I had another very traumatic event happen in my life. And it was at that moment that I realized that even the success I had, I wasn't in control of and, and, and that my ego really couldn't be satisfied by it. Uh, that was desperation. That, that was true desperation, even harder than the desperation that I felt, uh, at times, um, you know, then and since of, you know, you know, being broke or, or projects not working or having to struggle to attain or you know questioning the decisions we're making or all the things that we go through as entrepreneurs in order to achieve what it is that we want to achieve. And if, if achieving those things is about getting a monetary gain or hitting a certain milestone of some point, um, it's, it's gonna be empty and, and, and I don't wanna feel that desperation ever again because it was a desperation that put my life into a tailspin that I just don't want to be, uh, I just don't want to go there again. So today, that why is about experiencing love and possibility. And I experience love and possibility every single day. I look for it, I get to feel it, I get to see it in other people, I get to help grow it in other people, I have other people help grow it in me. And whether I'm rich or poor or happy or sad, it's all part of the experience of love and possibility. So uh, that's where it's evolved for me and it's gonna continue to evolve for years. But that's the value of this exercise. And so when we take people through the RIP kit process and whether they're subscribing to Build or whether they're one of the Business Instincts group portfolio companies, the reality is this is the same discipline that we use within our uh, strategic planning process, our execution process, or in our personal mentoring process. The five whys is incredibly important, your why is incredibly important.